Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video, we will learn about the resistances connected in series connection. Here I have considered three resistances R1, R2 and R3. Okay, I have marked here four points A, B, C and D such that these points are across the resistances. That means A, B, this point is across the resistances R1. This B, C is across the resistances R2 and C and D these points are across the resistances R3. So if we assume that we have applied some voltage that is capital V across these resistances, they are connected in series connection. Suppose the current is capital I. I have marked here this is capital I, the total current flowing through it. That means across this loop, the current is capital I. So if we consider the voltage drop across this resistance R1, if we name it as VAB, because these are the two points that is the voltage drop across these two points A and B. Similarly for R2 resistance we can write it as VBC. Okay. Similarly for R3 resistance we can write it as VCD. Now let us find out the characteristics of this series connected resistances. So the first characteristic is current flowing through the resistances are the same. So what we can understand in series connection of resistances, the current flowing through each resistances are equal. That means whatever current flows through this R1 uh, resistance, that much current will flow through this R2 and R3. Similarly, whatever be the amount of current or whatever be the current uh, value that is flowing through this R2 will be equal to R1 and R3 and similarly for R3 resistance. So the current flowing through these resistances are exactly same. The current flowing through the resistances are the same and we have assumed that current flowing through them is equal to capital I. Now let us go to our second property. In the second property we have different resistances have individual voltage drops. So whatever be the resistances we have considered here, they will have their specific voltage drops. We have marked these voltage drops across them. This VAB is the voltage drop across resistance R1. VBC is the voltage drop across R2 and VCD is the voltage drop across R3. Okay, so we can write this as VAB. What will be the voltage drop as per the Ohm's law? We can write it as VAB is equal to current is I and the resistance is R1. This is the voltage drop across the resistance R1. In this way, we can find out for all the resistances. So here we can write for the second characteristics VAB is equal to IR1. Similarly, VBC that is the voltage drop across the points BC or voltage drop across the resistance R2 is equal to current is I and the resistance is R2. Similarly, VCD. This VCD is equal to IR3. Okay, that means we have now found out the individual voltage drops across the different resistors. So this is the voltage drop across resistance R1. This is the voltage drop across resistance R2. And this is the voltage drop across resistance R3. Now let us go to our third characteristics. In the third characteristics we have voltage drops are additive that means we can add the voltage drops and the sum of the different voltage drops is equal to the applied voltage so what we can understand from this point these voltage drops vab vbc and vcd that means the voltage drops across the resistance r1 voltage drops across resistance r2 and voltage drops across resistance r3 we can add these voltage drops and the sum of all these voltage drops will be equal to the applied voltage that is capital V. So we can write V is equal to VAB plus VBC plus VCD. Okay. These are the sum of the individual voltage drop and the sum is equal to the applied voltage. Okay. This is the sum of individual voltage drop. We can further write it as this VAB is I R1 VBC is IR2 plus VCD is IR3. So these are the voltage drops across the three resistances R1, R2 and R3. 
so we have seen that the voltage drops are additive that means we can add these voltage drops and the sum of the different voltage drops is equal to the applied voltage so we have found out the sum and this sum is equal to the applied voltage this capital V is the applied voltage so this is the applied voltage capital V here now let us go to our fourth point in the fourth point we have resistances are additive we have considered series connection of resistances that means in series connection of resistances if we want to find out the equivalent resistance then we have to add the individual values of these resistances r1 r2 and r3 and the equivalent resistance will be equal to the sum of these individual resistances so here we can write r equivalent that is the equivalent resistance is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 now let us go to our fifth property the powers are additive so what is the power power means power is equal to voltage into current v into i so what will be the power across the three resistances we have three resistances r1 r2 and r3 so what will be the power so whatever be the voltage drop across it into the current flowing through it so whatever be the voltage drop across this BC that will be multiplied with the current flowing through this resistance R2 and that will be the power drop across this R2 and similarly for the R3 we can find out. So we can write here this VI that is the total power VI is equal to so this will be equal to VAB that is the voltage drop across R1 resistance into I I is the total current okay plus vbc into i plus vcd into i so these powers are additive if we want to further simplify what will have vab is equal to i r1 okay so here we'll have i square r1 plus here also we'll have i square r2 plus i square r three okay this v into i that is the total power is equal to the sum of the individual powers across the resistances r1 r2 and r3 so these are the characteristics of resistances corrected in series connection thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also share this video with your friends to support my channel thank you